Yo, yo, it's your boy Mo Hustle, and we are now live on the hot seat. And today I have a special guest. Introduce yourself one time, huh? That boy, Paul, you already know it, baby. The Mo, the Don, the Mo, or less, nevertheless. Already. Okay, so 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 you're a rapper at H Town, right? Yes, sir. That's what it is. No. What side of town are you from? Uh, I'm from originally from the Northeast, and probably forever be there, too. The Northeast. What, what is that, like Like the Heights or something like that? Nah, right here. Mesa, down to where the usual. Oh, Mesa, okay, uh, okay. Most, where most, where North, most would be from. Yes, sir. Okay. Or Northeast, northeast side. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, oh, okay, Homestead and, okay, Homestead and all that. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 there you go. There you go, City Gas. Yeah. All right. Big up, big yeah, up. Baby, Look, he, he over there. He, he from there, over there. <laughs> he high. He like, yeah. That's what's up, bro. So, yeah. uh, so you been living in that area all your life, or? Yeah, I've been there for most of, most of, most of the time, you know, just until up to the point I was a little bit younger, you know, yeah. from apartment to apartment, you know. Yeah. Right now, I just try to keep a steady home, try to right. keep a steady pace, you know. Always looking for new shit. No. For the okay. new biz. What else school you went to? Uh, my school, my school area was really crazy because oh. first it was always, always, it's always gonna be the ones that's around me, all the schools around me. <clears throat> yeah. A.G. Hilliard, Varnett, yeah. B.C. Elmore, North Forest, and Forest Brook. If y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, the, the, so, the cameraman crunk. He crunk. So, say more or less, man, I did not, I was not one of the lucky ones to graduate from neither of them schools, you know what I'm I saying? Feel it, I feel it. Switch, switching from school to school, you know, it wasn't even, it wasn't hard, it wasn't easy. I, I'm not gonna say I ain't love it or I hated it. Yeah. I really more enjoyed it, if anything. I enjoyed it a little bit too much. Okay, okay. You know you what was I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> enjoyed it a little bit too much. At, at that young age, did, did you go through a lot in school? Or were you like, just like, fuck it, you know, just... Man, I'm not gonna lie, I had this one time... I wasn't doing too good in school, and I had this one homeboy tell me, if you if you fail a certain amount of times, then they'll skip you up. My dumb ass over here listen to him, oh, and man. like not giving the fuck on purpose, not caring on purpose. So oh. what do I do? I'm like, all right. He told he told me, if, if you fail more than three times, then they'll skip you up. All right, yeah. that's how I lived myself through the whole the whole time I was in school. So yeah. come five times, oh man, I'm out of there, I'm out of there already. Man. Shit. There wasn't nothing for me to do there no more, so that's why I figured might as well. They are, they been skipping me up, but nothing to where I would like to be, you know what I'm saying? I, like, and I already like, knew. Did you go through any, like, gang banging at a young age or anything like that? I actually did not. Everybody thought I did. Okay, Everybody yeah. would portray me as that person that mm -hmm. would always... I look... They they say I look like a person that would um yeah. associate himself with them type of people or, right. or with stuff like that, but I never been that type of person really. No, I'm good on that shit. Yes, sir. Yeah. Already. Is it because you've seen people around you go through that kind of thing? Most definitely, most definitely, I've did, and yeah. I got my fair share of that of experiences, not personal experience of yeah. just like how you said it, right. personal experience of seeing other people go through. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't You're really like, man. I ain't trying to do that. Shit. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's good, man. That's good. You know, some some people get easily influenced, but some of them actually stand up and say, "Man, fuck that." Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's like yeah. back then I see people do bars, right? Uh. And they used to be like, <laughs> and I'm like, why the hell would I take that? I'm good. I'm not trying to sit like that, man. I've seen people trying to push a person, get up, wake up, shaking them and shit. Like, yeah. Like. I want to. I don't want to be like face. that. Yeah, I don't want to be like that. You know. What yeah, I mean, neither. I like to be awake. I like to be. I like to know what's going on around me. Me too. You know me what I'm too. saying? For sure. Yeah, yeah. What else? I, I, I've never. I never really got into to, to like bars or nothing. I never really yeah, got into like like shit, yeah. no no pills or nothing like that. Right, you know. Right. Me either. Me either. Been around a bit, uh, a lot. Of course, it's everywhere. You can get any, anywhere, anytime. Any yeah, yeah, place, yeah. You know? These days, it, psh, yeah, it's everywhere. Man, it, even the youngsters know more than the, the adults. They'd be like, man, uh, I get in there. You'd be like, God damn, bro, that shit went around. Yeah. Back then, I mean, I'm sure it was around, but it went around like, you know, where, boom. People got menus and shit these days. Yeah, like, you want this one, this one, or this oh my one. God damn. <laughs> I seen, I, I've actually took it to some people sometimes. Well, <clears throat> Some people would ask for all these different type of colors, and I was mm. still, I would, you know what I'm saying? I would see them, and I'm over here thinking, like, damn, I didn't even know this one existed or this one existed. What's yeah, wrong? yeah, What's they got a variety. I'm thinking it's all the same, the same thing. Shit, damn. Man. 
Nah, right? but of course, growing up like that, like of course, I, I, at twelve years old, mm-hmm. that's when I really started like bullshitting with the drink and or like right. doing doing all my little little, little stuff. Shit, yeah. You know, I, like it was really. I feel like that's er- almost everybody's story. It's to where like things, you got yeah. you got um how can I say that you got to introduce to it at a young age, mm. not because you wanted to or anything, just right. really because that's that's all you have around you. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, you could, yeah. At a young age, yeah. If it's around you, you're gonna know about it. Yeah, for sure. And you're gonna use it. <laughs> and you're either gonna use it, or you're gonna be like, "God damn, man!" Yeah, yeah. like, "Oh, you're the one. You're the one on that's that, the weird yeah. one. You're the one that's the weird one. The weird one. You're the weird one for not doing it. Crazy this. guy. He's the crazy one. He's the crazy one for not doing it. You know that's what I mean? Up, man. So, so, so you came up during the whole H Town, uh, uh, scene like, 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 like the oh, one. rap and shit. Oh, one. Since oh, one. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So how was it for a young young person like yourself growing up with all that H Town history coming out like the the screwed up click and oh, man, no house records shit like I that. I mean, all I could do is bang nothing but that. Yeah. I s- still to this day I have I hear I hear all these H Town rappers, these new H Town rappers, new Mexican yeah. rappers, new like not just even Mexican rappers. You mm. know what I mean? Like everybody that's coming up from Houston, I'll try mm. to listen to them, and it's just sometimes not really my thing. You know. Yeah. I rather listen to like the old stuff. The old school, you fuck the with old the old school, school the, yeah. The culture, okay. Yes, sir. Cool. Like mostly like Slim, Zero, okay. you know, some stuff. Break the yeah. usual, the usual that everybody will mainly listen to in H Town. I got you. Yes, sir. What is your favorite H Town hit f- throughout the history? New or old? New or old? I wanna say from H Town. Yeah. Damn, I don't even know that niggas. From H Town, is he from H Town? The D baby, D baby, yeah. He's from Texas. Oh, he's from H Town, right? He's from H Town. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I, that's one of my favorite ones that's coming up from right now. That's that's okay. one of my main ones that I've listened to so far. You know what I mean? Shout out D baby. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. What What is your favorite record of D baby? Oh man, it got to be that Good Day, cause you know every time I hop in my car, that's the first one I'm putting on about him. Good Day. Good Day. Woke up yeah. feeling like it was Friday. You know what I mean? Always. Jump, jump. Okay, now the old school rapper of H Town, who would it be? Uh, Cause there's a long list of them. Them, if you view to pick three, dude, going to do the top three. Zero, Slim Thug, and Pimp C. Woo, that boy for hit sure. the Pimp C on him. For sure, kick those, knock down those. Already, man. Don't what's even up? knock on them, bitch. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, man. If you're gonna bring an artist down, or if you're gonna bring one of your family members that. They're excited about H Town. They heard all about it, and you get them down here. Where are you gonna take them first to go eat? Man, and and it could be a hood spot. It could be it could be a, a expensive spot. Whatever you know what I mean. Man, it gotta be motherfucking. Mm. Okay, can you repeat that question one more time? All right. That's all I. Ask. All right, if you if you brought up say a major artist, say major you ran artist. into say you ran into Ludacris out of nowhere, right? Ludacris, Ludacris. Yeah, Ludacris. And he, you just ran into this man, and you like, right. you like, man, I'm coming down to Ace Town. Right, where should we go H-Town. eat? We where, go where, where, where the hell are you gonna take Ludacris? What are we gonna do? Damn, I couldn't even tell you, man. I got so many spots that I fuck with. Yeah, you got, you got to do got one, man. So many spots that I love, man. Ooh, you got one all the way down to one. Cause you got to think about it too. You got to think about when you're sober. When you're okay. tipsy, when you're Ooh. wasted, when you're this, when you're that. That can be a fact. All, they all have their certain preferences, pref- preferences right. when you're in that, that, um, that, yeah. that mode, that mood, mm-hmm. whatever you like to call it. But I would say if someone came down to Houston, of course, I'm going to pick. It got to be some tacos. It Man, got why did tacos. I know you were just going to go there with the tacos? It has to be tacos, bro. I just already knew it. it. I was like, he gonna take be, this. He gonna take to fucking Ludacris to a taco stand. Yeah, I know it, it. It has to be bros tacos, man. I don't know if anybody's gonna head on that Is one, but brothers tacos or brothers, brothers tacos. That's right, right here, here. Yeah. right here, right here, oh. man. It has to be that, man. I will get my breakfast oh, tacos shit. from there. I'll get my lunch tacos. I get my dinner tacos. From there. I get my yeah. everything tacos from there. You know what? I haven't man. even tried it, and it's right here. But I nah. see, it cause I'm not a, you know, in the morning. I'm, I'm out of there. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I understand that. And their yeah. time is like daytime only. So I'm like, fuck. But whenever I do pass by in the daytime, 
They got a long ass yeah, line. They, and I'm like, oh my god, they always got a packed line, and I always want to see yeah. what's up with that because I don't like waiting in lines. You know, we're gonna have Ludacris in line at Brothers oh, Tacos, Brothers bro. Brothers Tacos at the at the god back damn. of the line too. You don't get no special stuff, nigga. Yeah. You gotta wait just like everybody else, you know, man. Like, <laughs> baby, wow. come on now. You gotta wait just like poet do. Yeah. Yeah. That's great, man. That's you great. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You gotta, you got to, you got to try. Uh, have bro. you been to Trill Burgers yet? Oh my God. I wanted to so bad, man. Mm-hmm. I wanted to so bad, but I want there to be like a special occasion. I don't, no, I, I, don't, I, don't I, just, I don't just want to be like, let's go get some Trill Burgers. Nah, it's my day, my birthday, whatever, man. Let's go get some Trill Burgers. Let's right. go I'm pop up it. to Trill Burgers. You know what I mean? Right. That's what I really want to say. I don't want to just say, no. let's go get that. Like it's McDonald's or nothing, because right. it's not for nothing. For right. nothing. Right. So I want to say, like, if it's some like, if you're taking your shorty out in the day and she love burgers, baby, yeah. that's where you got to take them. True burgers for sure. What that's about, number one. have you tried a turkey leg hut yet? Uh, I haven't even heard about Ooh, that. Ooh, boy. I haven't even heard about that. Turkey leg hut, man. They got all the stuff all on top of the turkey. Uh, Ooh, like macaroni or some crazy shit, like. Mm. Oh man, like some crawfish stuff in, or some shit all over the top with some gravy and shit. Oh my god, yeah. What's that spot? I haven't even heard it's about. Down the road, that. you gotta look it up. Turkey Leg Hut, bro. That shit go hard. And it's just got so crazy. I think I'd have, I'd, probably, I'd probably take him a Turkey Leg Hut. I don't know, man. <laughs> you gonna have fucking ludicrous with a big fucking turkey leg in his hand and shit. Mess his hell. You know he graduated from chicken to fucking turkey legs and shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, that's what's up, man. Hell yeah. Let me ask you one thing, man. What's your favorite preference of I want to I don't want to say seltzer but I want to say seltzers of, I don't want to not seltzer but like not just regular beer either what's your preference fuck I'm gonna be honest I don't even fuck with the seltzers like that every now and then people have them yeah. and, and I try them you know but it ain't my cup of tea I don't think yeah because I feel like it's more, like a, you're a more uh liquor type person or what well lately like I went out with both of my brothers and shit. One came from Odessa, and the other one's from over here, so he never gets yeah. out. So, first I was drinking, like, beer with them, and that motherfucker slammed the beer so fast. I'm like, bro, and then they, they be looking at me like, come on, man, we got to go to the next bar. So, I'm like, you know what? How about y'all have a fucking beer, and I'm going to take me a shot. Yeah. And then I was just, ha, ha, you know, everywhere I was going. And now they looking at me like, oh, now you waiting on us, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I was like, fuck it. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to take it to the head. But I, but I do like beer here and there. I like uh, Corona, Modelo, Tecate, you know, mm. shit like that. You know mm. what I mean? Uh, I might have a michelada here and there, you know what so, I mean? Depending if I'm so, eating, like, some good-ass seafood or yeah. some shit, you know what I mean? And that for sure got to be in the morning. But when you wake up from a pella, from mm. a hangover, that got to be your first You got to use that agua mineral with some fucking, Ugh. like, Dress like a michelada and that's yeah. that should lift your ass like up. Like your little limon, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. See, Come I don't on really now, know. baby. Oh, you know, uh, 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 shout out to uh, Trap Sauce. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, no? Shout out to Trap Sauce. She got the best micheladas in town. You know what I mean? Best ones, A1. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, that's what's up, man. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. So uh, let, let's talk a little bit about your music, man. So, yeah. uh, do you got any singles out right now? Are you working on some? I'm working on a few that... My producer specifically told me not to let loose only because right. of certain situations. You know right, what I mean? Right, you right. want to build them up before you let them go. No. So we got that. But we do got the other set. Los are coming out. You know, Los. you can always stay tuned to check that out. Hmm. Let them know where they can find you at. So you can find my boy at Ivo Waves. Or you can find my boy at Young Crook. Young Crook, that is. It's going yes, down. Sir. Well, that's what's up, man. Uh, Young and crooked. What do you think about aliens? Do you believe in aliens? I believe that the Matrix is real and that they plant this stuff in our brains. <laughs> Damn. You know what I mean? Here we go. I mean, aliens, yeah. we can't be the only ones here. Yeah. Of course not. We can't be the only ones here. Hmm. This whole universe, there's, there's all these other planets. What, what about, okay, since we're talking about planets, do you think that Earth is flat or round? I'm not gonna go with flat. It's not perfectly round either, like a sphere. I'm gonna say it's a little choppy, but yeah. it's. I, I want to say I'm not a flat earther. I'm. I believe it is a little uh, round mm. fixture, mm-hmm. if I could say that. But I don't do not believe it. It's a perfect sphere, a perfect round, round, round thing, round ball. You know, because okay. it has to have its little curvatures in it. You know what I'm saying? Just like mm-hmm. a pretty lady. 
like a pretty lady, you got to talk to her nice. If not, if you don't be nice to her, she's not going to be nice to you either. Right. She's not on me. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, yeah, man, that's what's up. Yeah. Well, fuck. I was going to ask you a crazy-ass question out of this world, but... um. Damn, that's what's up though. So, so, so you believe in aliens? I mean, yeah. Know? For the for the most part, they barely trying to make all this other stuff seem. They trying to cover it up like they barely found out about right. the stuff flying around in the air. But we, everybody knew already. Like, just like what they say, don't get blinded. Don't get blinded by what they're trying to show you. Like, stay focused on your moves. Stay focused on that one path you're trying to really go to. Don't get no. sidetracked about what everybody else is talking about. Just that one piece you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? All right, so one quick question. Yes, sir. Because, you know, in Cali, man, they think we don't listen to any kind of Chicano rap. Ugh. From over there? There's, there's, like, beef always. It's, it's okay. Cali versus Texas and all this shit. Mm. All the time, they be hating. But uh, if you were to talk about any kind of Chicano rap. From Cali. Who would you yeah, Who would you look up to? Damn, I don't know really. I mean, I know I listen to some few niggas that are from Cali. Yeah. Damn. See, it's hard. It's hard. So, you know, yeah. that that's point proven. But at the end of the day, okay, so who do you I mean, think? they can't expect a, a Texas person to listen to a Cali person. They can't expect a Cali person to listen to to bang around the city. They uh, A Texas person in Cali. I just think that is because they haven't came here and, and yeah. spread the influence. Because yes, if sir. some of them come here, then, then people will know about yes, them more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But and like, I really feel like I the mean, whole slab line and the low rider line okay. really got to get together with that. Like, man, it's, okay. I understand it's the elbows around Texas and it's the low lows around Cali, but, man, you put them both together, you you can accomplish multiple things, man. They, right. It's like, what's better than one having two, mm-hmm. right? So what's better than one having two? They try to divide people yeah, and stuff. Yeah, they try to divide it, it like... So this is Texas, and that's Cali. But 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 for the most part, I think everybody from H Town, even the low riders, that they they come through jamming that H Town shit too. Yeah, so for sure. I think we are definitely different down yeah. in Texas. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But uh, it's not that we don't got love. I mean, me, I got a love for a lot of artists because I've been in the business, so I got to shake hands with them, create platforms, take them on the road, book shows, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So I run across them on the across uh, uh, them on the road, and we do like car shows and all kinds yeah. of crazy shit. But, uh, you know, if it wasn't for that, I probably would be lost as well. But, um, so you can't think of one right now that that, that, that you fuck with them? A Cali artist. Cali artist. Old Cali school, artist, school, artist school, old whatever. school or new school either. Either one. Damn, what's his name? I know he's from, I, I want, man, if I get this wrong, no trip on me. I, I forgot his name. Come on, let's name. get it, let's get it. Damn, I forgot his name, but he's like, sometimes I like to chill, homie. Sometimes I like to smoke. Mm. Sometimes I like to, damn, I forgot how go. I used to listen to that nigga mm. every day going to school on some headphones. He's like, oh, yeah, throw your neighborhood in the air like you don't care. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I forgot his name. That's, bro. that's a Mexican artist? It's a Mexican artist. I know he's not from Texas. I think he's from Cali. I want to, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say he's from Cali. Who is that, Cosmo? Throw your throw your neighborhood in the air. Throw your neighborhood in the air. Let me see. I'm gonna look this like up because I don't care. Because I know the song, but I didn't know that yeah. that was. I thought that was Ice Cube or some shit. Who? Yeah, Mac Ten. Mac Ten. Nah. Huh. He's a it's, he's a whole essay artist, man. He's. I've listened to. I know a lot of Texas people listen to his music when they were. It was more like a. I don't want to say young era, but I just want to say we listened to That's that mostly when we was young. But you thought he was Mexican, huh? Because he looked at the light skin and shit. Nah, he is Mexican. Mac Ten? No, 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 not Mac Ten. The the person I'm talking about, he can't. I am not gonna lie. I don't want to mix him up. I don't want to. Maybe put he him, did a remix or something. Let me I don't want to put him in the same category or nothing. But he kind of looked like that boy T. He got the same chop, Real? same haircut type shit. It's someone like King Lil G or something. King Lil G, yeah. Okay. So he <laughs> probably did a remix of the Mac Ten though. But yeah. Keep oh, that's like, what it sounds like. Yeah, look, I got. T- uh, oh King man. Lil G right there. Oh, okay, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually the first to bring King Little G to Texas, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Yeah, yo, I yo, yeah, yeah. I brought him to San Antonio. I, the homie S.A. Booster brought him down to Midland. Uh, uh, we had booked a whole little tour. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, when he w- when he came back, he came back through Dallas, hit me up and shit like that. You know but what I mean? He is from Cali, though. He's from Cali. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. LA, that's yeah. probably one of the, I mean, 
No disrespect to Kelly, but that's probably one of the only Kelly rappers, a Mexican rapper. Go. But that's that just for y'all to know. That's... When we was younger in school, I know everybody from 2000 era, right. they know that song that I was just singing, man. They right. know that what I, who I was talking about. As soon as I spoke them lyrics, I know they was like, oh, I know who you're talking okay. about. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the homie, man. Shout minute, out, shout I haven't out heard him in a minute either, but that's he, crazy. Used be, he used to be, I feel like growing up in school, that's the main, almost mainly the... One of the one, one of the main ones that we would always listen to that you would hear walking on the hallway, someone got their speaker coming through. That's who um, you hear. You know what I'm saying? Besides Zero, Slim Thug, and all the original from H Town, I feel like that's one of the ones that you would hear over here too. Right. You know what I mean? Did you ever listen to SPM growing up? Yes, sir. A lot, a lot. I did everything. A lot of SPM. And I'm waiting for some more too to come out too. As soon as you get out. No, no. Yes, sir. For that's sure, free him. Man. Well, yeah, man, that's Free what's up, man. One more time, let everybody know where they can find you again. That boy, Poet, Poet, underscore one on Insta. And you got that new drop coming out, too. But go ahead and check out my boys, Ivo Waves on Apple Music, and my boy, Young and Crooked. You will find the most, not the least, mm. always the most, baby. Come on now. No. Yes, sir. All right, man. I, well, I wouldn't say I appreciate you for having me on here, too, though. I appreciate that, man. Uh, shout outs. G- give, give out some shout outs real quick. I want to give a shout out to my boy Young Crooked first, and my boy, my boy, um, Ivo Ways first, and Mo, too, for sure. And everybody in this room, too. And everybody from the old school age time that know what's up. Holla at me. Already, Mo. man. It's your boy Mo Hustle. We are on the hot seat, and we about to log off. Y'all make sure to hit that subscribe button. Go follow the homie, man. Uh, give a shit a thumbs up, share it one time, show that love. Uh, you already know what it is. From H Town to Cali, we got love. You know, some, some there be hate out there, but we don't even acknowledge the hate. We're moving forward on some positive shit. We out this joint. Make sure to follow us.